Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Why Do We Mourn on Asar B'Tevet? So many people are familiar with Tzom Gedalia. Gedalia was killed on that day. Shemaz HaVatamur's Tisha B'Av, the three weeks, beginning end of the three weeks, also related to the Chorban Abayit. What is Asar B'Tevet about? So three events are recorded. And they didn't all happen on Asar B'Tevet, but they happened in the month of Tevet, around Asar B'Tevet, and... The Rabbis did not want to set up three different days of mourning in the month. It would be too hard for Kalei Israel, So, therefore, it was all set up around Asar B'teva. So, the most severe event is Nebuchadnezzar that's besieging uh, Yerushalayim. He, of course, was the Russia that destroyed the first Beit HaMikdash. The siege began on Asar B'teva, the tent of David. Uh, that was the beginning of the end of the first Beit HaMikdash. Then we have the loss of Ezra and Nehemiah in this month of Tevet. And they, of course, created the, they were crucial plays in the Second Commonwealth. In the beginning of the Second Beit HaMikdash, they were, what a crucial period for Klai Yisrael. A bit of a bittersweet one. On one end, we're building the Second Mikdash. That's sweet. The bitter part is the fact that 40,000 people came. It was only 70 years early, they were exiled. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people should have come. 40,000. And Ezra Nehemiah led that delicate period. It was a transition period. And they passed away during this time. It was a severe loss for Kalei Israel. The other event took place also during the second Beit HaMikdash, about 250 years before the common era, towards the early years of the second Mikdash. King Talmi uh, ordered 70 rabbis to translate the Torah, and it was a miracle. They translated it. Each one made certain adjustments that wouldn't be offensive to the Gentiles, and it was miraculous. Hashem guided their hand still to go ahead and have the Torah translated to another language. The Torah, just as a book translated, is missing, one is missing the boat. We need to have Torah Shabbat Tav, the written law, the 24 books of Tanakh, and that must be accompanied by the oral law, the mission of the Gemara Midrashim, Shulchan Aruch, the whole body of the oral law, with one without the other, the written law without the oral law, we're just missing it, you don't have any halacha. What can we learn from the Torah Shabbat Tav by itself, the 24 books? We cannot learn one halacha out. You understand the stories, and even that's limited. So it was a tragic day when the Torah gets out to the world in just a simple translation. So therefore, that's what this day is about. You know, the Gemara Shana says that this day, as well as the other fast days that are for the Avelut of the Mikdash, the Gemara says that these days will be turned into Sason V'Simcha, happy days rejoicing. It's Hashem. Sarvateve. The next time we have it, we'll be there rejoicing. We'll have the Migdash. Mitzvah Shem will be celebrating the Migdash we'll have the together. Mitzvah Shem will have the Migdash together sooner than that. But on this date in the year from now, Mitzvah Shem will be a day of celebration, not a day of Avelut. Shalom.